G'day, my name is Dr. Peter Price of Classroom Professor. Welcome to this video in the Free Math Worksheet series. This week the strategy is for division with remainders dividing by six. And this comes from our book 10 Minutes a Day Level 3, Division with Remainders. By the time we get to this set of number facts, our students must have learned obviously addition and subtraction, but also multiplication and division. Division with remainders, I think, is the most difficult set of number facts that, that we will want our students to be able to handle. There are, obviously, there's more advanced maths they'll do later on, but um, this is the hardest in the operations. So to be able to do this, so let's take a question like 25 divided by 6. To be able to do this, not only do the students have to remember all the multiples of 6, but know them so well they can find the one that is next below this number the multiple that's been the, the, that's been multiplied by the six and then how many are left over so there's about three steps here just to get the answer so one way to show this because there isn't really a strategy for doing this except remembering the facts so there's no manipulation we can do there's no way of you know somehow doing something to the numbers as there is with some of the other strategies with this one you just have to know them what the students will need to have firmly in their mind is the sequence of multiples of six so they don't actually need all the other parts to the multiplication table as such but these numbers they need to have in their mind. So I'm writing these up here as a sort of memory jogger that you might use with students while they're getting used to this, but ultimately this has to be in their minds. And by the way, we can stop at 60 because we don't need to divide by anything other than single digits, so we don't need the 11 and 12 times. So looking at a question like this, we want the students to be able to think to themselves, what is the biggest number in this list? that's less than 25 of course it's 24 then remember that that is 4 times 6 then subtract that from 25 and there's one left one way you could do this visually is to do something like this now I'm just basically making this up but this would be a way of visually representing this idea that we have 25 something and we're sharing it among six groups or six people and each one will receive the same amount how many will they have and so we want the students to be able to think for themselves well if we just give everybody one that's not enough if we give them two that's only going to be um, 12 you know so ultimately we want a student to be able to say well that's four so we can write four in each one and then say how many is that four times six is how much 24 how many are left over after we've taken those away obviously there's one left and so the answer is four remainder one by the way I don't mind how you write the remainder that's the way I usually write it just an R now an application for this which is really helpful or makes this um, set of strategies and facts helpful of course is to convert an improper fraction to a mixed number and that could be the result of lots and lots of different sorts of operations and problem solving and so on. We might have been adding common fractions or multiplying them or quite a range of different things. 25 sixths is the same as 25 divided by 6. What's the answer going to be? Of course it's going to be 4 holes because 4 sixths are 24 and there's 1 left. And so as a fraction of course we write that as 1 sixth. So that's it for this video. I hope this has been useful and I'll talk to you next time.